Hello, and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our new stamp set, Mice on Ice, and its coordinating dies. And we're also going to be introducing our new stitched pond die that works so great with these cute figure skating mice. We're also going to be making four different cards today showing you how to use these products in different ways. These little mice are the cutest things ever and we have them in a bunch of different positions. So you can have the two that could be holding hands, the one that's kind of picking up speed. That guy could be spinning or jumping and then we have a perspective from above that I think is so cool. We've also got some great ice skating trails for these guys. So we've got our loopy loo one, then we have a shorter one and a longer one of just kind of a little S curve and then the loopy with the heart which is so cute. We have the words joyful and also happy, and these are also really great ice creating trails for these mice. We have a bunch of different sizes of snowflakes that you can mix and match to create really cool backgrounds. I like to heat emboss these on white and then do some ink blending over them. We then have some smaller words that work great with the joyful and the happy. So we have have a joyful where you can use the smaller word or the big scripty word, winter, holidays, or wishes. You can also stamp, may the little things bring you happiness, which I think is so cute. I really love mixing and matching all of these different sentiments so that I can make the perfect card and I love the mix of the two fonts. Next, we're going to be adding some color to these cute little mice with Copic markers. And we're gonna be using lots of different shades of gray and brown and also creating a white mouse too. So I love that you can mix and match your colors depending on what look you're going for. I also love the idea of having a bunch of different colored mice in one card. It looks super, super cute and we're gonna be doing that later. These mice are so cute and they make for the perfect holiday cards. You can make it a little more Christmas focused or just a general winter card or honestly, I would even use them on a birthday card or anything all within the winter time or for anybody that loves figure skating. I absolutely love figure skating. When I was a kid, I figure skated, albeit terribly, but I did love doing it. And so these little mice remind me of that and they just make me smile. For their scarves, I love adding lots of different colors to match whatever pattern paper or color scheme I'm using on my card. It's also really fun to add details to them with a white gel pen like stripes or polka dots and we're gonna be doing that a little bit later. This here is one of my favorite combinations for the mice. It's just so cute and sweet. And for their bellies, I've been doing a combination of either pink or kind of a lighter pinky brown, depending. And so you can see how I have a pink one there on the lighter brown kind of jumping mouse. And then I have more of a really, really light tan on that gray mouse. Here are the two mice that are from the perspective of above, which is really, really cool. And so I'm gonna be coloring one of those in the warm gray markers and then mixing and matching some red and turquoise, which is my favorite during the holidays for that cute little snow hat. And then I'll be repeating my other favorite color combo with these E50s on that cute little mouse and then adding some cute little rosy cheeks. I love doing that on these guys. And one of my new favorite green combos for the scarf. Next, we're going to be using the coordinating dies to cut these images out. So you can separate these dives by bending apart at the tabs, or you can use your wire snips. We're gonna take our coordinating dies and line it up with the stamped image, hold it in place with some low tack tape like post-it note tape or washi tape. Post-it note tape's my personal favorite. We'll run it through the die cut machine and then pop these cute little mice right out of the die and they look absolutely adorable. Here's a little look at how to mix and match the elements from this set. So here we've added a little trail behind the figure skate of the mouse so it looks like he's added that trail right into the ice. You can also do that with the words happy and joyful. I love those little guys holding hands or you can use them on their own. And that little heart trail is so cute. I think it would be even adorable on a Valentine's Day card. Here is a look at the new stitched pond die, and this pond makes the perfect ice skating rink for our cute little mice. The other really great thing about the pond is it's really, really wonderful for spring and summertime too, so you could have little frogs on there or maybe a cute little scene in the pool for summer, so I love that you can have it as an ice skating rink and then have it all year round as well. The pond has an outside inside detail. So it's got the pond on the inside with the stitching and then the stitching outside the opening of the pond. And we'll show you a couple of ways of using those guys. And then inside the pond, we have these great little trails that are purely stitched. So they just stitch into your paper. They don't actually cut. And we have them in a bunch of different styles. These are really cute for the trails of the ice skating mice, but you could use them on any type of card to either add texture or maybe even a little trail behind a bee or a bird would be super 
super, super sweet. So here you can see I laid it on the card, ran it through the die cut machine, and now I have this great heart stitched detail and we can layer our mice right over and it looks like the mouse kind of cut that detail right into the pond with his figure skates. Here's another look from that perspective from above and you can see just how adorable this is. I love that you can use the opening of the pond or you can use the pond on its own or you can fit them in together for a double stitched look and we're going to be doing both ways in the video today. Now it's time to start creating with this set. So we're gonna trim down some pattern paper from the Snow Day Remix collection. And I love those little random white snow dots. Then we're gonna take our stitched pond and line it up in the center of our piece of pattern paper, run it through the die cut machine, and now we're gonna have a stitched opening and also a stitched pond. I'm gonna save that stitched pond for another card later on, and right now we're gonna use the stitched opening. Here we have some of that new pearlescent vellum and this stuff makes the perfect ice skating rink. It's so pretty. And I wanted to show you a little bit of trick with this vellum. So if you layer this vellum onto different colors of paper, you get different effects. So here it is on white and you can see how beautiful that looks. But here it is on some sage leaf cardstock and it gives it a little bit of a green look, which I think looks so pretty with our green pattern paper. So I decided it'd be really fun to layer these. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some watercolor wishes paper in that really pretty pink color and layer that onto a standard size card of five and a half by four and a quarter. Then we're gonna take our sage leaf piece and layer that. And next we're gonna work on layering our vellum. Now vellum's always a little bit tricky because you can see the adhesive through it. So what we're going to do is we're gonna add some adhesive to the back of the pond and that's gonna attach our vellum right in place without any of that adhesive showing. Once that's securely held, then we can add some adhesive to where the back of that pattern paper is, and that's gonna hide any of it, and we won't have to put any adhesive towards the center of the pond. I like to do it this way because this way I know that I'm not gonna have any of that adhesive showing. It's a nice, easy guide. So we'll layer that into all of the corners, and then we can add that on top of that sage leaf cardstock and get that beautiful pearlescent pond. I love the idea of these softer, non-traditional colors for this beautiful winter card. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp out some trails and some hippo ink, and then the joyful word and some bubblegum ink. I just love the kind of greeny mint color and the pink and gray together. So we'll stamp out that joyful, which looks so pretty, and then take the coordinating die and line that right up, hold it in place with some low tack tape, and run it through the die cut machine. We're also gonna die cut all of those trails too. Here is the word wishes. We've stamped that in that same bubblegum ink on that same watercolor wishes paper that's on our card base. We're gonna run that through the die cut machine with a sentiment banner die, and we're gonna create our own custom banner size. So we've cut the banner, and now we're just gonna eyeball it here and line it up with the die again to shorten it a little bit. And I love doing this to create custom sizes with my dies. So just gonna wrap that tape around to hold it in place, run it through the die cut machine, and now we have the perfect size banner for the word wishes. And then here are the rest of the elements for the card. We have four of those cute little mice colored with those nice light warm gray markers, our hippo stamped trails, and then our cute little sentiments. We're gonna take a trail and kind of tuck it in behind the pond so it looks like the little guy kind of skated right onto the pond and then started doing a jump. And I like to kind of lay everything on my card, see how it's looking, and then we can actually start to permanently adhere something. So for the mice, we're gonna attach them on with some foam squares, and then for the trails and the words, we're gonna attach those on with a tape runner. I always like to take the trail and kind of tuck it right underneath the die cut of the mouse so it really looks like the trail is coming straight from those ice skates. We're going to do the same concept with the joyful word. So just imagining that it was a trail that he skated out the word joyful, which would be very, very amazing if someone could do that, right? And so we're gonna layer that little mouse right on top so the word joyful looks like it's coming right out of his skates. We'll add our last little trail and we've got our joyful wishes. And this card is so cute. That pearlescent vellum is gorgeous. And the other thing I love about this card is that it's really, really easy to do. So this is a great one to mass produce. If you needed to make like 25 or 50 Christmas cards, this would be the perfect thing to send out and it would really, really make someone's day. Next, we're going to be recreating a gorgeous card by Grace. And one of the really cool things that she did is she cut off part of the pond. And so we're gonna show you how she did that in a second. 
So here we have a bunch of cute mice colored in all different colors with all different colored scarves, which is so sweet. We've die cut some white cardstock with the largest stitched rectangle die. Then we're going to use the stitched simple wavy borders. Originally I thought of these as ocean waves, but they make for really, really cool snow banks too. So we've die cut our awesome snow bank. Then we're gonna take our stitched pond die and layer that right onto the scene. But you see, we're gonna leave parts of the die off of this piece of white cardstock so that we're cutting directly into the scene. And now we're gonna have a piece of pond that's got the stitching for the pond and also the stitched rectangle and also the outside of the pond. And we're gonna be layering these two together for a double stitched look. We're also gonna use that same wavy border die and die cut some of that beautiful pearlescent vellum. We're gonna die cut one more of those largest stitch rectangles and we're gonna start creating our scene. And this is one of my favorite color combos now. I just love it. So we're gonna be using ink blending brushes and fish tank ink, merman ink, and minty fresh. And these colors look amazing together for a wintry scene. So we're gonna layer fish tank up top and then merman towards the bottom. And right where those two ink colors meet, we're gonna go back and forth between the two ink colors, making sure to blend and making sure that it looks really nice. So I'm gonna keep layering that piece of white cardstock over, making sure that it all looks really, really good, kind of finishing it all up. And then we're gonna add a little bit of detail. So this is some Copic white ink paint, but you could use some white acrylic paint. That would work perfect. We're gonna mix it with a teeny bit of water and I'm gonna use a really small paintbrush for really small splatter. We're going to tap the paintbrush and all over the sky we're going to create falling snow. So here those are kind of smaller splatters. Then I picked up a little bit more water and now we're going to make some bigger splatters. You can see how good that looks and it really creates the look of falling snow. Next, we're gonna add some color to that pond that we cut earlier. And at first, I was just gonna start off using the Merman to Minty Fresh. But then when I put it on the card, it didn't really feel tied into it. So then I decided to take out that same fish tank ink and just add a little bit of that darker blue to the upper edge of the pond. Then we can go into the Merman and then into the Minty Fresh. And you'll see when we put them all together how it's gonna create this really cool continuous look. So now we're going to take our beautiful snowy pattern and attach that onto a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. Then we're gonna take that vellum, kind of eyeball, see where it's gonna look best. And then once we figure out where that is, we can add some tape runner, hiding the tape runner where the vellum and the cardstock meet. So no one's ever gonna see any of that tape runner onto the vellum piece. We'll hold that in place and then we can take our whole piece layer it onto the card base and attach that pearlescent vellum on. For the snow bank, we're gonna be attaching that with some foam squares to give it some nice height off of our background. So the vellum is kind of snow in the background and then the white is snow closer up front. Then we're gonna take that pond piece that we inked up earlier and we're gonna fit that right into that outside in opening. So now we've got this stitched on the pond and the stitched on the snow bank, which looks so cool. This is our new shadow box card mountain add-on, but we're gonna use that cute little cabin and the trees from that on this card. And I love using dies for other things than what they were originally intended for. We've die cut the cabin from some craft cardstock and some chili pepper cardstock and everything else out of white cardstock. We're gonna cut the door off of the red cabin and we're gonna layer that right onto the craft cabin. It's gonna have this really, really cute pop of red that's gonna go great with the sentiment we're going to do later. We're going to use a light yellow marker to add some color to that white base piece and then take a brown marker, this is an E31 marker, and just line all of the little line details of the die to really make it look like a log cabin. It's adding a little shadow to those logs. Then we can take that whole piece and layer it over the piece we added yellow to and you'll see that nice glow in the windows. Next we'll add the snowy roof up top and then we can start to work on adding everything into our element. So the cabin and the trees are gonna go all up towards the top of the card, and then our mice are gonna go onto the pond. So we're gonna layer that behind the snow bank, which I think looks really cute, like the snow has just kind of built up all over this cabin and these cute little trees. The scripty words in this set are so gorgeous, and they're great, of course, for the idea of the trails of the mice, but they're just great on any Christmas card because they're bold and beautiful, and one of my favorite ways to use them is heat embossing them. So we're gonna stamp in some clear heat embossing ink onto some chili pepper cardstock. We'll add some white heat embossing powder, and we're gonna heat it up with our heat tool and then cut it out with the coordinating die. You can see just how gorgeous that is. I think it'd be really pretty on some turquoise cardstock too. 
Now here we've got a white gel pen and we're adding some details to the scarves. And Grace did this in her card and it's so cute. So we're adding some little shine marks to the purple scarf, some stripes to the turquoise scarf, some stripes there to the red scarf, and then polka dots on the other red scarf, which is so cute. Now right here is where I realized I made a big mistake. I should have stamped the have a and winter to go along with my joyful before I attached it to my card. And I was so nervous to do this, but it ended up working out. Thank goodness for the misty. So I'm gonna stamp these out in that same hippo ink so it's gonna match my trails. And I pressed down really, really hard and it worked out. So thank goodness that looks really, really good. And then now we can add the joyful right on there. And I like that the gray words are gonna tie into the gray trails we're gonna add later. It just makes everything go really nice. This is a heart die from our heart treat box. So I die cut some hearts out of that same chili pepper cardstock. You can use a heart die from anything that you have. And now we're going to take these cute little mice and add them onto our pond. And they are looking absolutely adorable. Then we can attach our hearts and our trails. You'll see that I'm trimming off some of the trails to just shorten them up. And then I can layer them right behind the mice and that gives them a nice custom look. The mice are on with foam squares and all of those trails are on with tape runner. We're then just going to trim off any of the excess so it looks like they're skating from the kind of edge of this pond. And then for some extra detail, we're going to take the new glitter pen and add it all over the trees and the roof of the house. And now the card is all done and oh my goodness, I had so much fun making this card. The background was so fun to ink blend and creating the scene with their mice. They make me smile so much. I had such a blast creating this. And you guys are going to have to check out Grace's card on the blog because she made this into a pull tab and it's so super cool. Here is a look at the two cards that we've made so far and we're going to be making two more but I thought it would be fun to show you some cards we have here at the office. So we've that cute little simple easy to reproduce card on the right and a pond shape card which is so cool. This is our flippin awesome with the mice in action jumping up and sticking the landing. This is in our intro to flippin awesome video and we'll make sure to put that link in the description below. And here is a really cute little slider which I absolutely love and then a fun card by Megan where she used the reveal wheel to create the action of the mice skating toward and away from each other. Next, we're going to be creating a card that doesn't use the pond. These little mice are perfect for quick cards like this. So we've got some stitched squares and a stitched square frame. We're die cutting from some white cardstock and some mermaid cardstock. And we're gonna be creating a really pretty sky inspired by Elise. And this pink sky is just gorgeous using worn lipstick and tattered rose paper. So we're gonna using some blender brushes. We'll layer our lightest color and then the darkest color up towards the top and then go back and forth between them to blend the two colors so that there's a nice seamless look. We'll then pick up some water with a paintbrush and tap that all around to get the look of snow in the sky. Next we're going to take a stitched hillside border here and we're going to die cut another white stitched square and that's going to give us a really cool snowy bank. Then we're going to take a look through some other border dies to see what would make a really cool kind of skating area for the mice. And here we're going to take a stitched hillside border, and this is one of the simple hillsides, and we're going to die cut this also out of a white square, one of those stitched squares. That way all of these pieces are going to have that really cool stitching around it, creating a nice seamless look. For the pond, we're gonna be using some tumble glass ink and another one of those blender brushes. And that tumble glass is a really, really beautiful color for kind of the skating area for this mice. If you saw the intro to the liquid stardust video, you'll see that we made a custom little spray thing and Shari's done that here. So she took a mini mister, dropped a bunch of the liquid stardust in there and then some water. And she even got a little label maker and labeled it stardust spray, which I thought was really, really cute. And she's gonna take that and spray that all over this inked piece. And that's gonna give it this really, really cool shimmery, shiny look. I love how it looks so much. Now we're gonna to start to layer all of these pieces. So we're gonna be using some liquid glue to add these pieces on. So first we're gonna add our pond onto the snowbank, and then we'll add our snowbank onto that beautiful pink sky. And I love the blue and pink together. They look so pretty with the mice. Then we're gonna take this whole piece and we're gonna layer that onto a white square card base. So I really love the mix of that white all the way around. It really gives it a nice bold look. We've gone ahead and stamped and die cut the word happy from the set. 
and we've gone ahead and stamped and die cut some mice and also the trees that are in our Yeti set. So there's these really, really cute tiny little trees that work great for the mice too. So we've stamped and colored those and we're gonna add those into the scene. We'll also take that stitched rectangle frame that we die cut earlier and layer that on and then add two cute little hearts around the word happy. Now we need to add something to our word happy, so we're going to be doing some heat embossing. So we're going to take some black cardstock and heat emboss on there. So we're going to use some nice clear sticky embossing ink, the word holidays, and then we'll add some white heat embossing powder and heat that up. Then we can go ahead and just trim that down and that's going to be a nice bold sentiment on the card that's going to go really nicely with the word happy that we also stamped in black. So we'll layer that on there and then we can finish layering everything onto the card. And now this card is all done. I love the shimmer on that pond we created. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I love that this is a nice simple card that you could definitely recreate, especially if you subbed in some pattern paper for those ink blended areas. So now we're going to be recreating a card by Elena. We're gonna stamp and color some trees from our Winter Skies stamp set. And then we're also going to be stamping and coloring some of these cute mice on ice. We're gonna be doing another idea of using this pond, but cutting off part of it on the card. And this is a great way to get different looks with the pond. So we're gonna die cut that and then start to work on forming the scene. To give this white cardstock a little extra detail, we're gonna take some tumble glass ink and a blender brush and just blend the edges of that die cut. It really makes the stitching pop and it really just gives it a pretty look and it makes that snow look bright white. Then we're gonna take some spiffy speckles paper and we're going to be using this to be our pond. So I love that this is kind of more spring paper and we're finding it a way to use it in a winter card. For this card, we're going to be stamping happy winter wishes. So we're gonna stamp our winter wishes on there and then we've stamped and die cut the word happy. So in this case, on both of these cards, we've been using the happy just as part of the sentiment instead of being a trail on the mouse. So I love that you can use those in two different ways. Then to fill in our wintry scene, we're gonna layer our cute little Christmas trees all over the scene. And then we can add some foam tape to the back of this whole pond area and then layer it onto our pattern paper. And I just am in love with these little mice. I love creating little scenes for them and kind of putting them around the ponds, deciding what they're gonna be figure skating. I, I always joke that I talk to my stamp, so I talk to them, I'm like, oh, okay, you're, you're kind of taking off. You're going up for the jump. You guys are holding hands. I just, I don't know why, I think it's so cute and fun and I just love, I love talking to my stamps and I just love these little mice and creating fun little scenes with them. Do you guys ever talk to your stamps too? I hope I'm not the only one. <laughs> So now that we've found them all in perfect place and we're going to add some foam squares to them and then some liquid glue to the back of the trails layering them behind the mice. And I love how these trails are kind of going off the pond and into the snow banks. It looks really, really cool. Next up, we have some amazing cards by the design team. And first up, we have this super cute card by Elise that is just so sweet. I love that pink sky and how she layered the pond onto her card. Just gorgeous. Here is that flippin' awesome card I showed you guys earlier that's in the intro to flippin' awesome video. So you guys will have to check that out and how to create a cool flipbook animation with this awesome set. Here is the card by Elena that inspired us to make ours today. It's so gorgeous. I love the white with the blue. It's just so pretty. This card by Audrey is so sweet. I love that she used the snowfall backdrop and that awesome stitch trail onto her pond. Here, Kristen used the new four square backdrop to highlight cute little scenes with these fun little mice. Here is a card by Megan using that reveal wheel that I showed you earlier, and that way the mouse can skate back and forth to his little ice skating partner. This card by Carolina is super cute and a fun and quick way to make a ton of cards. Here, Yainea created a really, really cool flip and awesome card. I love the pink. It's so pretty, and her cute little scenes are so fun. It's a great way to present a gift card. I love that the slide on over dies fit perfectly onto that pond and this card by Jen is just so cute. Here, I love how Lynette turned the pond on its side. I wouldn't have thought to use it this way and I think it looks so cool on a portrait card. Here is the card by Elise that inspired us to make our card today and it's so cute and fun. And this card by Leticia is awesome. I love her mixes of pattern paper and how she put vellum over the pattern paper to kind of diffuse it for the pond. 
And then here is that card by Grace that inspired me to make mine today. And it's a pull tab so that the mouse actually jumps up into the air, which is so sweet. And then here, I love how Megan took that very happy holidays ice skating bear and put him into the scene with the mice. It's so super cute. So I cannot wait to see what you guys do with mice on ice. It's going to be so awesome to see. So make sure to share it with us. If you'd like to subscribe, you can click here. You can also click to see some other videos that are so super fun. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.